So you might have heard the word SMMA thrown around a bunch. It stands for Social Media Marketing Agency. In fact, if you're not new to the channel, you might have heard me talk about it quite a bit. But my friends, there's a new word in town. A word I'm using to describe the new wave of marketing agencies that are completely taking over the traditional social media marketing agency model. I call them EMA, and they stand for e-commerce marketing agencies. Agencies that help e-commerce brands grow online. Not restaurants, not clinics, not dentists, e-commerce brands. And in this video, I'm gonna be revealing the five reasons why an e-commerce marketing agency is far superior to a social media marketing agency so that hopefully you're not late to the party and you can actually ride and climb on top of this new wave of marketing agencies. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. The first reason why an e-commerce marketing agency is far superior to a social media marketing agency is what I call the worldwide economy concept. And what this is, is the fact that there are no geographical limitations when it comes to e-commerce brands. And so if there's a brand that interests me, I don't care if they're in the UK, in the US, in Germany, France, Spain, wherever they are, I can reach out to them because most e-commerce brands do not have a physical location. Most teams are remote and not only that, but they're actually used to operating online. They don't require that face-to-face -face interaction, which actually makes doing business with them so much easier over a simple Zoom call. And so really the benefits of the worldwide economy are twofold and the benefits that I just described Number one, if there's a brand that interests me, I can reach out to them regardless of where they're located in the world. And number two, they're completely used to operating online, which makes it completely effortless to actually sign clients over Zoom. So that is the first reason why an e-commerce marketing agency is far superior to a social media marketing agency. And with that being said, let's go right into point number two. The second reason why e-commerce marketing agencies are far superior to a traditional social media marketing agency that helps dentists or restaurants grow or get more leads, it simply boils down to the fact that e-commerce brands really need these customers. They really need Facebook ads or Google ads or whatever paid ad service you're offering them to be successful. Their main source of traffic, their main engine of growth is always gonna be on an advertising. If someone is setting up an e-commerce brand to get eyeballs online in the most profitable, in the most cost-effective and time-efficient manner, they're gonna have to invest into paid ads and they're gonna have to have an incredible online advertising strategy. And not doing that well comes at a very large cost to the growth of their business. And not only that, but they're constantly seeing other e-commerce brands, I'm talking Kylie Cosmetics, Gymshark, Drunk Elephant, etc., etc., build huge empires on the back of just digital marketing, on the back of Facebook ads, on the back of influencer marketing, on the back of Google ads, whatever it is, right? They're seeing other e commerce brands absolutely crush it. And this helps as reassurance that if they too have a paid ad service that creates a predictable stream of customers pretty much on autopilot for their brand, they too can grow to that extent. And this makes it so much easier to sell the service because at the end of the day, I like to say that in sales, there's really two hurdles. Hurdle number one is them deciding whether they need the service. And hurdle number two is then deciding whether you are gonna be the best fit to offer the service. So for a lot of prospects like restaurants, like dentists, like clinics, there's a lot of work to be done to get them to believe in the service in the first place, right? But with e-commerce brands, they already believe in the service. So it's all about convincing them that your agency is the right one to provide them with that service. And so that makes it so much easier to actually sell the service. The final thing that I will say on this one point is that e-commerce is on the rise. They've actually seen more growth in the past six months than in the past 10 years. And I will let that sink in. Obviously the current social economic landscape and the pandemic have helped tremendously, but this rise has actually been matched by a downfall of local businesses which creates a lot of uncertainty, not only for local businesses who are in the first line, but also for agencies who are offering services to these local businesses, because at the time I'm recording this, we don't really know when restaurants are gonna be fully reopened to the public or cafes or bars, and the list of local businesses go on and on. So that's the final point that I will say on this topic. And that is the second reason why an e-commerce marketing agency is far superior to a social media marketing agency. Now onto the third point. Whoa, sorry for interrupting, but just a very friendly reminder that if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. When you drop a big thumbs up, the YouTube algorithm pushes this video to a lot more people and it actually helps get my message out. So I really, really appreciate it. And uh, with that being said, back into the video. The third reason comes down to the fact that it's actually easier to do business with e-commerce brands and actually sign e-commerce brands online. And the reason why this is comes down to the nature of the service. As I mentioned previously, obviously e-commerce brands operate online. And so the founding team are completely used to hiring people online. 
whether it's VAs, whether it's the CMO, whether it's a marketing director, whatever it is, they have hired people online before to grow their business. At the very start of my agency journey, I went down the local business route, especially with gyms. And a big roadblock that I encountered was that, sure, we could have a meeting over Zoom, but they really liked that face-to-face -face interaction. They wanted to see me face-to-face. -face, and I don't blame them because that's what they're used to. They're used to doing business face-to-face, -face, whereas for e-commerce and for the way we run our businesses, for example, we are completely fine and completely used to actually hiring online. And so for us, it's actually not a big deal. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. And the second benefit of them operating online and being used to and hanging out online for a big chunk of their day is the fact that the most common outreach methods actually work much better for e-commerce brands. Social media messaging, emails, LinkedIn, video audits, et cetera, et cetera. And the reason why this is because they're hanging out online already, right? Whereas for example, a dentist or a restaurant owner, they are taking care of their business. They are running around. They are not hanging out on their computer for eight to 12 hours a day building their business. And so it's much harder to get in front of those people. Whereas for e-commerce brands, you can get in front of the founder on LinkedIn, right? And you won't be a nuance to them because they're already hanging out on those platforms. So that is the third thing to keep in mind. And now to the fourth point. The fourth reason why an e-commerce marketing agency is far superior to a social media marketing agency comes down to our KPI, our key performance indicator, what we're actually optimizing for. And what we're optimizing for for e-commerce brands, it's sales. We are trying to get them more sales. We're trying to get them more revenue, money. Whereas for local business, we are optimizing for leads. We are getting people to walk through the door so that hopefully they can close those people. Now, I personally love optimizing for the sale because I get to die on my own sword. If we get them incredible results, we are responsible. If we get them bad results, we are responsible. Whereas if you're actually optimizing for leads, if you get them bad results, well, it could be your fault, right? Because maybe the leads are weak or it could be the fact that they can't close the leads. Anyways, you're responsible and they're not happy. And so it's really a weird situation. And even when you get them incredible leads, right? They might blame the fact that they're great at closing them on your success. And so it's this really weird situation where the money you make them is not very clear. And that's the second reason why I love optimizing for a sale because the return is very clear and there's no questions about it. I spent this much for you, I made you this much, and this is the return that we've gotten you for this month. It's referred to as purchase conversion value on the Facebook ads manager. And the final reason why I love optimizing for sale and making my e-commerce clients a ton of money is that it's more sustainable. Why? Because if you're making the money, a sane client, a sane entrepreneur will never cut that off. So you have much more longevity, whereas with local business, since it's not very clear, there's a lot of gray lines, and the more gray lines that you have, the less longevity you're gonna have with that client. It's also one of the reasons why my retention rate is 14 months with my clients. So that's the fourth reason why an e-commerce marketing agency is far superior to a social media marketing agency. And now onto the final point. The final point is that I truly believe it fuels my dream lifestyle much better than a social media marketing agency, um, a traditional SMA would ever be able to. And the reason why this is is because on average, I have way higher retainers than local business agencies. Why? Simply because e-commerce brands don't have huge overheads like most local businesses. They have healthier profit margins, usually around 30, 40%, even 50% of my clients. And so they are able to invest into revenue generating activities way more than a local business. And not only that, but the best part is I can actually charge performance driven incentives. So I can charge revenue shares, I can uh, charge ROAS deals, I can charge ad profit deals and a ton of other benefits, which sometimes actually make up for more of the fee than the actual fixed fee we charge them on a monthly basis. And that to me is pretty cool because our team is incentivized and we get compensated for it very well. And the final reason why it fuels my lifestyle and my team's lifestyle is because you can get to work with really cool brands. At the end of the day, local business and a traditional social media marketing agency clients, they're not really brand, they're not really passionate about working with three dentists or four dentists that you didn't even know about before or clinics or chiropractors. And I don't blame you, but those are simply not brands. They're not producing a product that can impact the lives of millions of people. With an e-commerce marketing agency, you get to work with really, really cool brands. And not only that, but you actually get to feel like you are an integral part of their success because your result, the growth that you're generating for them is very tangible and it's directly impacting their overall growth. And so those are the five reasons why I personally think an EMA is far superior to a traditional social media marketing agency that serves traditional local businesses. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did drop a big thumbs up, YouTube just finds it incredibly sexy when it sees that great little thumbs up turn blue. Uh, so YouTube would absolutely love it. And my team and I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, so go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. Also comment down below any questions, any comments you may have on this video. If you haven't subbed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to marketing agency with a specific focus on EMA, uh, e-commerce, sales, and outreach. So if you don't wanna miss any of that, go ahead and sub to my channel. And the final thing is you haven't checked out my free masterclass on how to sign and keep four-figure retainer clients for your agency, go ahead and check it down below. There's nothing for sale and you literally get templates, scripts, strategies that you can use 
for your agency to start signing a lot more clients and to grow in your agency and building a really cool income. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always, guys, hope everything is going well in your journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace.